what exactly is that package? Well, a package is just simply a container. Um, think of it like a zip file. In fact, you can rename any NuGet package if you just downloaded it uh, with .zip extension and open it up. And it'll have in there all file scripts, uh, everything it needs to properly add that assembly to your project. So some packages are just binaries. Here's the three DLLs for uh, for our library. Some projects like a, like a jQuery might have scripts with it that say, okay, well, copy the JavaScript files to this location, but then go alter this file or that file to, to inject some code. Um, I've seen other packages where we'll install binaries, but then it'll build out templates uh, specifically for your project. But packages and scripting and files, this is a really powerful thing that we could take advantage of, but it is so far removed from our normal day-to-day -day click, click, click process that we really don't, we don't need to know about it, but it's doing a lot of really cool things. Packages normally are <laughs> created by the creators of the libraries. And what do I mean by that? Uh, let's use one of the more common libraries out there, json.net. Uh, json.net, it's really just a DLL or a, a couple DLLs. And the creator of json.net or the team behind json.net, whenever they do a new, a new deployment, they build the NuGet package and they push the NuGet package up into to NuGet so the rest of us can take full advantage of, of everything they can put out. But the most important part is that these packages are stored on a central repository that all of us can access. So NuGet.org is really the public NuGet repository. Everything that is freely available for people to download and use inside of their own projects uh, is up on NuGet.org. If I wanted to, as a software developer or a, a good person in the open source community, I could take my own libraries and push them up to, into NuGet.org. There's no cost to me. Uh, and then folks all around the world can come download my packages. If I ever needed more, let's say, flexibility or customized repositories around NuGet, NuGet is just a standard, and we could use other third-party sources to, to host repositories. And Visual Studio just knows how to talk to these different repositories. Now, NuGet is unique to .NET. So if you're doing C Sharp, you're doing Visual Basic, you we use NuGet. But we're not the only platform that has a package manager of some uh, shape. Uh, Node.js is kind of the more internet popular um, platform out there. They have NPM, the Node Package Manager, and then there's also a, another package manager called Yarn, which is slowly starting to pick up speed. A lot of folks have complained about the overall performance of NPM as a package manager, so Yarn has jumped in as a third-party replacement to, uh, to NPM. Uh, if you're a Python developer, you probably have used pip uh, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, Ruby has gems, famously. Go has GoPM. We could probably go through every major language out there and find some sort of package manager that they have available. This is really important because every major language out there has some sort of package manager attached with it. That means packages in general just have, have some steam. So it's a general good idea.